Hey there, Dave Gravassi in the Channel 8 Newsroom on a Friday. Hope it's a good one for youth. Beautiful outside. Thanks for stopping by here at 8newsnow.com. I was going to talk to Lauren Rosella, but uh, that's her empty desk right behind me. She's working on a story today about a loophole in the law that will keep guns out of the hands of mentally ill patients. So we'll look forward to that story. Christina Rada is here with a story about some stolen plaques in parks. What's that all about? Well, that's correct, Dave. And here's the interesting thing. Those plaques aren't worth very much, but replacing them costs you, the taxpayer, money. I'll have more on that story. Okay, look for that. Thank you so much. And Cherie Harvin right here next to me, too, working on a story today. Hey, and what's Dave, this? Search for the superintendent. Yeah, you know, last night the board voted to go ahead and begin a national search to find our next superintendent. But one local school is getting a petition signed, hoping that the board reverses its decision. They think it's a waste of time and money. Okay, we'll look forward to that story as well. Got a trifecta here with all our reporters today. Sometimes they're not in the newsroom, but today I got them all here. And one more story, of course. The Rebels playing tonight. Uh, they're playing on uh, taking on Colorado State. So that should be an interesting game. Starts at 8.30 tonight. We'll have all those stories and a lot more coming your way on our evening news between 4 and 6.30. And we know we'll see you there. Okay.